Welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Mima. Today's story is called Twinkle the Baby Colt. Twinkle was a baby colt. He was all black with a beautiful white star on his forehead. He lived with his mother in a big pasture on the edge of a great pine forest. He thought that he was a very smart little colt because each day his mother told him so. She told him this at least 17 times, once for each day that he had lived. For Twinkle was all of 17 days old. He thought that he was brighter than any other horse except maybe his mother. Now one day Porky the porcupine came waddling across the pasture. Twinkle had never seen Porky before, but he decided to get acquainted. He walked right up close to Porky, but Twinkle's mother ran up and pushed Twinkle away. No, no, Twinkle, she said. A porcupine is not a good playmate, and you must not go near him. He has sharp quills which will hurt you. Twinkle looked at his mother. He said, Why can't I, Mama? Just like some naughty little boys and girls. Then he started walking toward Porky the porcupine again. This time his mother laid back her ears and showed her teeth at Twinkle. He was very much surprised and felt very sad because his mother had always been kind to him. He walked off into a corner of the pasture all by himself. He thought it over for a long time and decided to leave home. He thought he would go someplace else where he could do as he pleased. Of course, you must remember that Twinkle was very young. He waited until his mother went down to the stream for a drink of cold water. Then he trotted off and hid behind a tree. When she did not see him, she galloped round and round and round the meadow with her head up and her mane and tail flying in the wind. She kept calling for Twinkle, but Twinkle did not answer. He was very disobedient and he ran as fast as his long wobbly legs could carry him until he was too tired to run any farther. Then he settled down to a nice comfortable walk looking around at the countryside. He decided that this life of freedom was the life for him. The grass was green, the sun was warm, nothing could be nicer, he thought. And what do you suppose Twinkle did then? He filled his tummy with nice green grass and he lay down to take a late afternoon sun bath and nap. Twinkle must have overslept, for suddenly he was awakened by big raindrops falling on him and making him shiver with the cold. It was night, too. A flash of lightning brightened up the whole mountainside, and Twinkle saw that he was all alone. He wanted to run home to his mother, but he did not know where to find her. He was oh so frightened and he curled up under a big tree and cried and cried himself to sleep. But even dark and rainy nights do not last forever. Morning finally came and the sun drove all the clouds away. The sunshine was so warm that Twinkle was soon as lively as ever. He wanted to see how big this new world of his was. He started toward the mountains, which looked so green and friendly in the bright sunshine. Soon, he was running through a deep canyon. 
He saw a long shadow of himself against the mountain wall. When Twinkle stopped, his shadow stopped too. When Twinkle cantered, the shadow cantered right beside him. And when Twinkle danced and kicked his legs in the air, as little colts love to do on sunny mornings, the shadow danced and kicked its legs in the air too, just as Twinkle did. So that Twinkle decided that a shadow was nothing for a bright little colt like him to be afraid of. But soon another shadow was following Twinkle too. He said to himself, a shadow is just a shadow and a shadow never hurt me. This shadow was not very big either, not even as big as his own. But that is where Twinkle made his big mistake. While he was thinking about shadows and how harmless they were, Tori the eagle closed his wings tight against his body and dropped down out of the sky towards Twinkle as fast as a bullet. Twinkle decided to stop quickly and see if this new shadow would stop too like the other one. It was lucky for Twinkle that he did stop because now Tori the eagle missed his mark. He sailed down out of the sky and landed right in front of Twinkle. Twinkle had never seen an eagle before, but he was afraid of Tori. Tori looked so very unfriendly and so very cross. In fact, he looked just as if he would like to eat Twinkle right up. Twinkle was not thinking about shadows now or of what a smart colt he was. He was thinking of his kind and gentle mother and the safe pasture which was his home. He turned around and there in front of him were his own tracks, thousands of little colt tracks leading away down the deep canyon and off across the prairie toward home. Twinkle started to run. He ran and ran as fast as his own little hooves could carry him back along the tracks. At last he ran right into his own pasture. There was his mother still looking for him and overjoyed to see her little colt again. Twinkle told his mother all about the dark night and the storm, how lonely he had been, and how frightened he was when Tori the eagle nearly pounced on him. His mother was so glad to have her little black colt back again that she scolded him only just a little bit. Twinkle, said his mother, you are a very smart little colt, but after all, you are only 18 days old now, and there are many things which you will have to learn before you grow up to be a big horse. Twinkle was sorry he had been disobedient. He hung his head and promised his mother that ever afterwards he would be a good little colt. He never went near Porky the Porcupine again, and he never, never even thought about running away. Every day his mother told him what a smart little colt he was to be so good, and Twinkle thought so too. He thought that he was brighter than any other horse except maybe his mother. The End I hope you enjoyed the story, Twinkle the Baby Colt. God bless each of you. Come back soon for another story. Have a great night, and until next time, bye for now. Music